Okay, we're going to cook my lasagna. So let's get on and turn the hob on and straight in with the butter. So we're just going to melt down the butter in the pan and then add the flour. And this will be the basis for the, um, both the white sauce and the cheese sauce. And what we're going to do is once we've made the white sauce in one pan, we're going to transfer half of it into another pan and just add the cheese and that'll be the cheese sauce as well. So you're effectively making two sauces in one, nice and easy. So just move the, uh, the butter around the pan, it'll just stop it, um, stop it burning at all and help it melt quicker. So hopefully yours is looking like this, just melting down without bubbling at all. Nice and easy. There we go, we're almost there. If you haven't got your flour out at this stage, probably a good idea to go and get that because we're going to add that next. Although hopefully you should have everything just out and ready. we go. Come on. Almost all gone. There we go. Now we can add in the flour. So it's just three heat dessert spoons of flour. And we'll just turn the heat off and stir that in. There we go. And so hopefully yours will look something like this, just like a, a thick crumbly paste. So once you've stirred it in, we're going to turn the heat off and back on and uh, just cook it for about 30 seconds to a minute. And what this will do is it'll just cook out some of the flour. So it'll just mean that when you have your finished sauce, it won't taste of uh, raw flour, which wouldn't be very nice. So just keep stirring it around in the pan. And we're going to add in the milk next. So next, all we need to do is just add now a little bit of milk. If you see, watch me and see how much I'm going to add in, and then you do the same. So just a little bit, and still with the heat on, and then stir that in. And what you'll find is it should come into a big bowl and clean the sides of the pan like that. And all we're going to do is just, each time it gets to this stage, just add in more milk. And each time the milk gets absorbed, it'll be a little bit thinner, a little bit thinner until we've got a sauce. So just, again, another little bit. Go, just keep stirring the whole time. Add some more milk. And stir. Watch you don't splash the milk and get it all over your hob. Hopefully it should be starting to loosen a little bit like this. 
And don't worry if it looks like, like mine at this, this stage, that's exactly what you want. It will turn into a nice smooth sauce, don't worry. There we go. And then more milk. Just keep stirring, stirring. It's good exercise. Get nice strong arms, or at least one arm anyway. You do the next one left-handed. Go, just stir, stir, stir. A little bit laborious this, but this is the only but once we've done this, effectively the whole thing's ready just to assemble and that's really, really easy. That's just like building layers in the, in the dish. Right. So again, hopefully yours is looking like this now. It's just, obviously, each time we're adding the milk, it's just making it a little bit looser and you can see that as you keep adding the milk, it'll be more, more like a sauce. Add in some more milk. Each time you add the milk, you can add a little bit more than the time before. It's only at the start you really want to just be doing little, little bits. There we go. Stir, stir, stir. Then hopefully it should be coming together a little bit quicker now within each time you add the milk. There we go. And then the next bit of milk. You're probably getting bored of me saying that by now. <laughs> It really is worth it, though, making your own sauce. The, the difference that it, that it makes than uh, granules or a packet of cheese or white sauce is absolutely fantastic. It just adds a really, really nice richness to the dish. Lasagna is not something you're going to have every night anyway, so it's a, a special occasion or a really nice Sunday, Sunday dinner, and it's worth just that little bit extra effort. Go, just keep stirring. Keep stirring. I should have just done a little tape recording and just press play every time for that. Keep stirring. There we go. And see, hopefully yours is looking like this. Now it's nice and nice and smooth and more like a sauce. And then a bit more milk. And just keep stirring. <laughs> I've still got the heat on. I'm just on the, the, the small burner, the heat on full. And because you're stirring it continuously, it'll stop anything burning as well. Right, we're almost there. Just the last little bit of milk. go and then we just want to add some salt and pepper to this so good couple of twists of pepper and a good pinch of salt and give that a stir in and we'll be ready to transfer half into another pan. So if you haven't got another pan out yet, go and, uh, go and get that now. Right. Right, so we're done. Hopefully you've got your sauce and it's like this, just nice and runs off a spoon, nice and easy. We're going to take the, another pan and just pour half in, which we're going to make the cheese sauce with. So I can turn the heat off that for a second. I'm going to try and do this so it's half. That's about right. I think maybe a bit more. 
There we go. And so with the first one, all we need to do is add the parsley. So add your chopped parsley in, and that's your white sauce. Give that a stir, and that's that done. The parsley really, really is nice in it, and adds a really, really nice flavour. It's really nice when you have a dish like this, and you can distinguish one particular flavour, like the parsley. Um, really, really nice, nice little addition. That, so that's done, we can pop that to the back and take the cheese, well what will be the cheese sauce, and put the heat back on and then just in with your grated cheese. And then just give this a little stir just so that it melts the cheese, but it should be still nice and hot that it will melt nice and quickly. And then we're going to add a, a, a teaspoon of uh, English mustard. Mustard and cheese work really, really well together. It's not quite melted yet. If you have a look at this, it might look a bit lumpy, but um, just with the heat of the pan, it'll, um, it'll melt all the cheese. So just add the teaspoon of, um, of English mustard. And just stir that in, and then we'll be ready to um, ready to put everything together. So, just stir that in. There we go. And if you take your two sauces over to the um, to your work surface, we'll um, we'll put everything together. Right. So first off. What we need to do is just add a little layer of the, the bolognese to the bottom. And what this does is it just stops the, when you put a layer of lasagna sheets at the bottom, just stops them from going all hard and um, crunchy. So just a really thin layer, and just spread it out with the back of the spoon. Like that. So that's plenty. And then arrange your lasagna sheets. You may have to break them up slightly to get them to fit. That's fine. And then just arrange them in the bottom, just sort of one layer doesn't matter if there's a little bit. And next you want to take your white sauce and pour all of that on top. So that will be a layer of the white sauce. And that goes straight on the lasagna sheet. There we go. Then next an actual layer of the bolognese. So this would be all of the all of your bolognese, and just sort of sprinkle it on top so that you don't have to spread it as much. So just distribute it evenly. I'll fill in the gaps in a second. There we go. It doesn't matter if there's any of the, the uh, white sauce poking through, that's absolutely fine. It's all going to get um, baked in the oven anyway. There we go, and just smooth it down. So hopefully yours is looking something like this. And then it's just another layer of the lasagna sheet. Just need another lasagna sheet. So just one layer of the lasagna sheet. There we go. Just breaking them to fit. It doesn't matter if they overlap slightly like 
like these, that's fine. And then lastly, on with the, uh, the cheese sauce. So just pour that over the top. And we'll spread it out. Go. You don't want to waste any of this. There we go. Just spread it over. There we go. So that's it done. So all you need to do is bake this in the oven for 45 minutes and then I'll um, come and hopefully ours will look the same after that. Okay, it's been in the oven for 45 minutes. Hopefully yours is looking something like this. Delicious and just ready to eat. Although I strongly advise you to leave it for about 15 minutes just to cool down slightly and it'll mean that it'll set a, a little bit more. But um, that's it all done and I hope you enjoy it.